Hey guys, to fix or not to fix? That is the question. Up a house, that is, you know, before you sell the house. So we thought, uh, Sean and I were trying to figure out something to talk about today. And I think that one of the questions I'm getting a lot is, meeting with people is, okay, I think my house needs to be fixed up. Come over and take a look at it. And yes, it does need to be fixed up, but we kind of want to go through the pros and cons a little bit of, you know, okay, so do you not fix anything up and price it properly and just put it on the market and it's kind of an as is, which I know a lot of people like to do. Um, not a lot of buyers like that, but a lot of sellers would like to do that. Or do you try to get an equity line mm -hmm. and put money into it and fix it up and then sell it? Or do you find a contractor or somebody who can do the work up front? You pay them, and then last is, will they want to get paid up front, or are they going to want to get paid, or able to, and willing to get paid at the through close closing. of escrow? Yeah. yeah, through closing. So you have all those options. And just because there's options doesn't mean it's for everyone, right? So right. like with what you said, what came to mind for me is, what type of person are you? So as a buyer, since I only work with buyers, I would never want to buy a fixer because I don't want to work on a house all weekend, yeah. right? So, and that's the market we have right now. It definitely seems like it's tougher to find somebody who is willing to take on a bit of a project. Right. And I think the reason for that is, I mean, it almost, if you go back to 2022, when the stock market went down, the buyer pool changed because maybe the $100,000 they had in stock to do those improvements now balanced to zero. Yeah. It's like, I can't touch that until it comes back. I just don't have the liquidity to do what I would want to do. So I need to buy a more fixed up home. Yeah. But I think it's, is it, and I'm asking you this question. Sure. I have no idea. Is, is there different seller personalities? Like w this type of seller just wants to get it done. I don't want to mess with it. Just like as a buyer, I wouldn't want to mess with it. And hey, Jason, just list my house and get rid of it. I know I won't get as much for it. And then the buyer who's like, I want to get as much out of this thing as possible. And yeah. how do I do that? Yeah. Um, I mean, just like we said in the first, the few options that you, you do have is right now in this market today, there are not that many buyers that want a fixer upper. And if you do have one that maybe is fixed up, but it could be 10, 20 year old fix up, they're thinking of the money they're going to have to spend to make it a new mm -hmm. or close to new home. Mm -hmm. They always overestimate, you know, like, Hey, I've got great contractors that can 2,000 square foot house, under 10 grand, new floors. But in a buyer's head, they're thinking, oh, that's 25 grand. Yep. Interior, exterior paint, oh my God, that's 20, 25 grand. When you can do it for, again, under 10 grand. Yeah. So if you price it, if you wanna go as is and you price it properly, if a home is selling for a million dollars, you pricing it properly is probably gonna be 899 on the market. If you do the things you know, the, the three most important things you can do are floors, interior paint, and landscape, and then exterior paint. You don't have to worry too much about kitchens and stuff, but that's down the line yeah. you could. You will get your money back on that. But then you can price the home better because that's what buyers are wanting. They want move-in ready. Um, and then it's just a matter of, if you don't have the money up front to take care of that, then you could get an equity line. Sean can help with an equity line or you know, I've got contractors as well that are willing to do the work up front and uh, not charge until it closes escrow. So there, there are options out there for you. It's really what you're wanting to do as a seller. Mm -hmm. um, buyers want something new. I always recommend getting some certain things done like we talk about. Um, but if you are kind of in that market a little bit and you've got a home, you're not sure if you should update it, by all means, reach out to us anytime because um, it does make a difference and you do have options. You always have options. And I think when there's options, so with mortgage, everyone thinks it's one size fits all, yep. right? Push button, get mortgage. It's one size fits all. I show them that it's not. It is a personalized plan that is specific to you because what you want will be very different than someone else's wants. Right. It's the same for a seller, 100%. right? There isn't one option. There are multiple options, just finding the right one for you. Right. It's just, I mean, to add to that too, it's just, it's exactly one size fits all or one size does not fit all because People ask me all the time, like, okay, well, now that I like this house, I found this house and I like it, mm -hmm. you know, what's the process? Well, the process is I need to call that agent and figure out what those sellers want. Right. Totally individualized, depend on every single house. Absolutely. Nothing, nothing is universal. So mm -hmm. by all means, reach out to us anytime. Jason Kasky, Cobo Banker, Sean Herrero, Cross Country Mortgage. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Look forward to hearing from you. Take care and we'll see you soon. See you soon.